Okay, hello. Today I'm going to uh, show you um, how to complete my figure ground assignment. Um, it's going to be black and white. I'm going to be asking you to use um, at least two characters. I know some of my students want to use more than that, and that's fine. Um, but what we're what the assignment is meant to do is that you are going to be paying attention to the negative space as much as the positive space. And in order to do this, I'm asking you to, to create 12, 12 um, figure ground um, experiments and uh, save them as a PDF and upload them into D2L for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to create a file. And I'm going to say create new. I already have Illustrator open. And so just so I know which window I'm working with, I'm going to say figure and ground. I like to use cap, um, camel casing underscore my last name. And we're good there. Now, this is almost all, this is already set up for me because I, I worked out this assignment beforehand, but you're going to have to set up your own. What I did is the number of artboards, I want 12. I'm going to have this read left to right, top to bottom. I need a fairly large spacing in between these boards, and the reason that I want the spacing um, so large is because because I'm going to be using my letters at, at very huge, at humongous sizes, okay? And so I don't want them to uh, uh, overlap into other um, boards. So here we have, I have a, a I'm going to do um, six columns. Um, so I'll have... Uh, We'll have two side by side, and then they'll go down my page. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to have, eh, let's go ahead, and I'm going to just do four. Let's do four. Okay, seven and a half. Seven and a half is my width, and again, I want my uh, uh, inches. I'm going to keep it at RGB. Uh, if I rasterize anything, I'm going to want to rasterize it at 150 ppi. Um, and then obviously objects align to pixel uh, grid and everything is fine. Now I'm just going to say okay. Okay, so what you'll see here is you see my four boards, my, my 12 boards that I have to work with. It's, um, they're very far apart and you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to click on this first board and I'm going to uh, hit command zero. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my command key down and hit my minus a couple of times so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on um, my type tool, click on my board, and I am going to choose a letter. And the letter I choose is W. I'm going to go to my selection tool, and I'm going to enlarge that W. I'm holding down the shift key as I enlarge this and if I hold down the option key it's going to expand at, at from the center okay so this is it um, I do want to um, a, I do want a different font and so what we're going to do is I'm going to click on my character palette right here and I'm going to change a font and I'm going to go to uh, the font I'm going to choose at this moment is Edwardian and if you saw my other video you probably realize that I like Edwardian because I, I love the swashes so here it is okay so that's my first choice okay, click on that again get it out of my way Click on this, maybe expand it just a little bit more. Okay. Okay, now the point of this is I just want portions of the letter. 
I do not want all of the letter. What we're doing is I'm creating, I'm creating um, compositions out of the the letters themselves. Okay, so I have this one. You know, I'm going to do two swatch swatches. This time I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to use a Q. Well, why not? Okay, and this time it's also going to be a Dwardian. I and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to make that very large. Okay, move this back to the artboard. And I don't want this to be a holy mess. Um, boy, it's kind of redundant, isn't it? Okay, let's see here. Okay, and then maybe grab this one, this over here. What if I take and rotate it? I can't, I know, I can't do too much of this stuff. Okay, that seems to be okay, so I certainly can rotate this. Ah, very cool. Okay, good. So we're going to go with that. That is... That is what I want. And maybe just the only thing is I'd maybe like to bleed this off the top. Give this, push this over just a little bit. No, nope. back, it looks better. Maybe down a little bit. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these. And so you can see both of these have baselines. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my type tool and I am going to change that to create outlines. Okay, so what I've done is I've disconnected it from the font and I've created outlines for both of them. Now, I'm, with these still selected, I'm going to go over here and I'm going down and I'm going to get my Pathfinder tool. And I am going to click on divide. Okay, so what this has done is it has, has they, it has made each one of these little arrows areas that are overlapping their own um, section. So what we're going to do at this point is go back to my selection tool, and I'm going to start going to the overlap and change the color. To white. Now, depending on the the file you have, okay, yours is probably going to be different. Okay, and it seems to be the only overlaps that I have at this point. Maybe right here. No, nope. that would be white. So I don't have a whole lot of, I don't have a whole lot of overlap, but I have two areas which are kind of interesting. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to grab another rectangle. And I am going to move this rectangle over all of the, I'm going to over the entire space. And I want to make sure that it is edge to edge. Okay, we're going to flip it. Okay, I just want to make sure that we got... Okay, now I'm going to select all, Command A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that Pathfinder tool again. And there's an easier way to do it. I'll do it another way um, in a second. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide. Okay, so I've just divided it once more. Okay, this time I'm going to select this portion. Okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select this part up here. OK, 
Okay, I'm hitting my delete key. That's what, what you're hearing. Okay, and come down here to the bottom. Oops, too far. Deselect, hit anywhere on the artboard. Okay, so now what I've done is now I have my first my first pattern or my first composition. Now, let's say I have all 12 of these worked out. Okay, what I could do is I'm going to go Command Z, put everything back again. Okay, the other thing that I could do is I could again make a square over the top. And again, we want seven and a half, seven and a half. I want to make sure that I cover that completely. Okay, I'm going to flip this around. Now, select all. This time what I'm going to do is do another process that you might find easier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a clipping path. And that's another way of doing it. It's a little bit easier. It's a little bit more simple. And that's the second way you can do it. Now I'm going to create a PDF for all of these and get ready to upload these to uh, D2L. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to say save. 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 And it's an AI file, Illustrator file at this point, which I really don't want. I want a PDF. And so right there it is, Adobe PDF. I want to save all artboards. I don't want to range. I want all the artboards. I'm going to save it. Okay, I already have one saved as this because I've walked through this before. And I'm going to say, okay, replace it. Now, I'm going to preserve everything. The thing is, is I'm going to click view PDF after saving. Okay, get this smaller so you can actually see what's going on here. Okay, you're saying, well, there, Bill, there's nothing there. Well, yeah, there is. Right there. There's my first page. And then you can see I got 12 blank pages. And it's already because I named the original um, window in Illustrator. I now have the name that I can use to upload into D2L. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.